Uh, you feeling okay? Yeah, man, of course, I'm fine, I'm great, I mean, they won, right? Ah, it's just after the win last night, I heard you singing breakup songs by Taylor Swift in a room covered in Phil Kessel pictures. No, yeah, no, yeah, I'm just, no, it's fine, everything's fine, I'm just, you know, I, I, feel, I feel like I'm in a really good place right now. Right. Showtime! <laughs> <laughs> And it looks like the monkey that was living on Jonathan Bernier's back didn't come back. Because if you watched last video, you know that band-aids don't fix multiple stab wounds with a medieval weapon. <laughs> I'm fine. But enough about Bernier, the story of the game, Uncle Leo and Tyler Bozeman. My goodness heavens, I don't know which one to talk about first. Well, actually, I tell you what, let's talk about Colorado scoring first, just two minutes and 33 seconds into the game. Jack Skilly picking up his fifth of the season because no! He felt like getting him. What's his name? Skill? Skilly? Sk I'm just gonna leave him alone in front. And the Leafs are down one nothing. and oh, Karn, Sarn, Darn, Bernier and his early goals. Or, or, the Leafs had a terrible start. And even if Bernier should have had that one, he wasn't even close to the worst looking Leaf on the ice. It took the Leafs over eight minutes to get a shot in the first period. Sean Mathias draws a tripping penalty from Francois Beauchemin. Alright, this is where you can hopefully make up for that. Comrov's got the puck in the power play. Alright, let's see what he can do. <gasps> Leo. I didn't know he could do Did you know he could do that? Whoa! Snipe it's from Uncle Leo. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. It's 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. Oh, look at that. The Leafs are on another power play. Comrade's got the puck again. All right, let's see what he... Oh! What? Ah! He wasn't even looking when he did this! Lupel makes it 2-1, and Leo Komarov and the Toronto Maple Leafs are able to salvage a terrible first period on the power play, and they go to intermission up 2-1. A minute and seven seconds into the second, oh, there that lead goes again. There goes Bernier again with the early goals. Or, or... The Leafs didn't show up to start the period again. John Mitchell, former Leaf John Mitchell, Johnny Malkin, was left all alone in front. He ties the game at two. And the Leafs don't get a shot at getting the lead again because they didn't get a shot for the first seven minutes of this period. Look, look, I'm not going to defend Bernier. I'm just saying that maybe it's a team-wide issue. But never mind that, never mind that. Leafs are on the power play again because Alex Tongay took down Martin Marinson and he thinks Marinson dove and he may have a case, but I don't care. The Leafs are on the power play. Let's see what happens. Pistol Petey Hallman sends the puck into the slot, and oh my god, Dan! Tis the season of giving, and Komarov loves giving that puck to the back of the net! No need to roast your chestnuts in an open fire, you can just put them right in Leo Komarov's hands! With the Estonian finish hotness. That was a pretty goal, that was a really quick goal. Oh, 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 Eric Johnson's was pretty good too. Uh, there's another one where I'm like, Gabriel Landeskog gave Eric Johnson a really good pass. Eric Johnson took a really good shot. Jonathan Murnay almost got there in time. I know every mistake cannot end up in the back of your net, but... I'm trying. And then something amazing happened at second intermission. Bozak looks up at the scoreboard. Oh, it's a tie game, 3-3. Okay. Oh, Leo Komarov's got two goals so far. That's pretty good. Hmm. Hey, Bozy, did you see that Phil scored two for Pittsburgh tonight? He what? Yeah, looks like he doesn't need you to produce, huh? You think that, huh? You think that, mm, you know what? You know what? Okay. Bose like you're to the rescue! Less than a minute into the third, JVR gives it to Bose. Ah, pass by Lama! Now less than seven minutes into the third period, Bose Lightyear gets a breakaway, rushes towards the net, scores! Wow, Bose was really flying on that play. That wasn't flying, that was falling with style. And then the party just doesn't stop as Jake Gardner puts it on net and JVR tips it in. Sorry, <clears throat> James Van Hockey. Gardner, underrated aspect of this game with his fourth assist of the night. Looked like Bozak had a hat trick for a second. No, 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 he didn't have a hat trick there. No, no, I don't have a hat trick yet. Oh, oh, you see that empty net? You see, you see that? You see that? Now I got a hat trick. And then Jack Skilly was left wide open again. The Avalanche scored again, and I kind of want to defend Bernier again, but I can't again. Who cares? Leafs win 7-4. to four. Would you believe me if I told you the Leafs only had 22 shots in this game? Uh, I kind of do, because except for when Bozak scored 49 seconds into the third, it took them over 7 minutes to get their first shot in the second, and over 8 minutes to get their first shot in the first. Well, hope they play better against Arizona, or at very least, whoever Arizona decides to throw in net, I hope plays like Varlamov did. And speaking of the net, who do you put in net for the Leafs? Because I see a lot of people calling for Antoine Bibo to make his first ever NHL start. Bernie's got back-to-back -back wins, guys. I think let him ride it. Oh, it's not like he really earned it. The Leafs had to score seven goals. I, I get that. I understand that. But we need to make him better. Also, it's Christmas. Be nice. Or he could be nice by letting Bebo get his first ever NHL start. That's the great thing about Christmas. Question of the game. The Leafs are rebuilding. 
What do you do with Komarov and Bozak? Both are players with multiple years left on their contract. Both are players having firecracker hot seasons so far. Do you trade them? Or do you keep them? I've written a bit about Bozak, but for Leo Komarov, I have a video that is already up. It's on the Sportsnet YouTube channel. It just went up right before the Salafar video. Check it out. It goes in depth on Leo. And if you were sad that this video is coming to an end, guess what? There's another one. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really like to tell all your friends. Highlights down below. Leo video down below. And... Brand new Panico Pizza Steve Dangle podcast. Last one before Christmas. Sorry, last one before we go to best ofs because of Christmas. Look, I need time off to open presents and get fat.